Hello guys, I'm Sir Fancy and welcome in this tutorial where I will quickly show you how to let your player quit the game. Yeah, just click on that button and end it. Let's start by clicking on your character, in this case third person character, and the only thing you need to do here is right click, create here some action input, let's say just R keyboard, come on, keyboard, and after that you probably have guessed it, quick quit game, quick quit game. The quit preference will leave to quit, click on compile and if you click on play, click press R or R, the game quit. That's about it, that's the whole trick. But because I want this video to be a little bit longer, let's also create widget where you can do it with pressing the, of the button. So let's right click in content and we will create new HUD element. For that we will go in user interface and widget blueprint, let's call it and open it and we will add here a button, let's scale it up, add text into it, text will be exit and make it a little bit bigger, so let's go 40 and then with this button make sure that you would set up anchor point and I want to be in the middle just like this, okay let's go back in the middle now click on that button, scroll down and what you want to do on pressed or just on clicked, it doesn't really matter with this in this case, put it here and let's put here quit game again. That's about it, but we also need to make it so it will actually appear. So let's click on third person character again and we will use this R setting again. You can use it after end of the match, match or whenever you want I will do it with this keyboard shortcut so let's put here and we want to create widget that widget will be on the one we have and and after that we will add it to viewport add to viewport so now if I play I press R you can see that we have this new button but we can't do anything simply because we don't have a mouse so what we will add here is get player character or player controller actually and from there from this return value we will get oh actually show mouse cursor and we'll set it to true okay put it here connect it and let's actually add here something more we'll add here flip-flop no that's not what i wanted let's add here flip-flop and on one pressing of R we want to show it all and on B we will simply put here remove all widgets and we also need to set up this show mouse cursor to not a true again make sure oh come on connected here and make sure that it's all co it's connected to get player controller that's fine and let's test it out so let's press R it created this I can click here, click on exit, the game exited, congratulations, that's what this tutorial was for. And the bonus part, click R, and click R again, everything works just fine. R, exit the game, that's about it. I hope that this quick tutorial was helpful for you, that's everything from me, so surf and say out with what I would normally say, but you didn't press the like button yet, right? I know you didn't. Do it now, do it. Alright, if you did, you can join the Discord, talk about other devs, and put some dirt on Unity. That's about it, Surfancy out.